What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of ARK PvP. We were killed by a level 140 Dilophosaur. I'm not even sure how that happened where we last left off. We were in our base, it was nighttime. we just, we, we exited the game, everything was normal. Somehow that thing got to us, I'm not sure how. But uh, we're gonna respawn at our sleeping bag and see the damage. There is no damage. There's no damage in, oh. Oh, okay. Actually, yes, there is damage. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and craft another sleeping bag where it is. It's right there, fiber and hide. All right, so we're gonna need to go get some fiber and some hide. I seriously cannot believe this, dude. We don't have anything. We have absolutely nothing now. We're starting back from scratch. Are you kidding me right now? How did he get in our little base? That's what I want to know. We were just in there minding our own business. And some Dilophosaur decided to take down our freaking door and door frame. That's crazy, man. All right, here we go. Well, we've got some problems. So one problem is we now have none of our tools. The second problem is we don't have any food. Got our pickaxe. We need some flint to be able to make our axe. There we go. All right. We can make our axe now and we're going to take these guys out. It's going to give us hopefully a little bit of meat and then also a lot of hide so we can make another sleeping bag. Also, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's, there's somebody over on the other side of the, the river there. They've got their, their fire going, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. All right, there we got some meat. I wanna get a little bit more meat here. We didn't even get any more. But yeah, you guys can see, there's a fire going on over there and there's a, a person running around. You're starving, you need to find something to eat, okay. Um, we're gonna need to make another door frame. We're gonna need to make a door. We're gonna need to grab a whole bunch of supplies here. I'm also thinking maybe we just set up a fire on the beach and not go back to our house until we have to. Well, I guess our house does have a, a fire capability. I don't know. What do you get from rocks for doing this? Stone. Just scared the crap out of me. All right, we're good. Want to make sure there's no weird creepy crawlies around here that we don't want. Uh, let's go ahead and make a, we need more stone and more thatch. Crap both of those. We need five more hides. Five more hides is gonna do us some good. That's not gonna get us a hide. We need a little dodo bird or something. This sucks, man. The fact that we were killed and it wasn't even a human. It was some freaking little Dilophosaur. How do you even know we were in that little hut? We were hidden away, dude. He shouldn't have been able to see us. I'm a little bit worried about this guy over here coming after us. I mean, he was, he seemed like he was kind of a fresh spawn on the beach too, so he's probably not gonna mess, mess with anybody, at least hopefully not. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's eat these things. So we have that, and then we don't have the door yet. Oh, we do have the door actually. So we're gonna put this here, and then we can craft their sleeping bag. Looks good to me. So I think I'm gonna go back up in the house. Oh shoot. There we go. I think I'm gonna go back up in the house. We're gonna set up our sleeping bag, put a door back on it. And uh, then from there, we can kind of venture out and explore a little bit. What we really need to do is unlock a bed. We just aren't a high enough level yet. Dude, I like our little humble abode up here. Except our tree's gone now. Okay. Maybe it was it, honestly, I'm kind of thinking it was a human. They came up, they took our tree, they probably came in here and wanted to know if we had some good stuff and then they just didn't kill us because we didn't have anything. Maybe, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but it's just, it's kind of weird to me that, that a Dilophosaur somehow took out our entire front door and then killed us. Trev, invite to tribe, add steams. <laughs> what? Dude, how did you find me already? Are you kidding me? I add Steam Sleepless Gamer profile pic says SLG. I was, 
Wow, okay. Um, you're probably gonna get a ton of friend requests now, bro. What in the world? I don't even know, I don't even know how to invite to a tribe or anything. <laughs> that is so funny. I can't believe he came over and set up a note for us, dude. That just made my day. I'm surprised he didn't put it closer to our actual house, though. Did I accidentally end up showing which server I was in? I don't know. That's crazy. I have no clue how he found me, but, uh... Shouts to him. All right, so we've got some meat cooking now. Um, honestly, don't really have a lot of meat. I don't think we have a lot we can do until this meat finishes. Let's see, what do we have for unlocks? I really, oh, bow and arrow is next level, which is kind of exciting. Um, we're also getting wood stuff soon. Is there anything else? Dude, I, I feel like bow and arrow is gonna be, gonna be super clutch. It's a brand new day, boys. We're gonna have some fun today. Let's go and access this inventory. I'm gonna transfer these over and eat all those. Starting to get our, our basic necessities down. We've got food and water. And um, let's see what we should do next. What do you guys think? Should we try traveling over there and just kind of seeing what's over there? That might be kind of fun. I know there are piranhas in the water sometimes. Not seeing any right now. I don't like the. Ah! Are you serious? <laughs> okay, well. We're back, guys. That was a little bit unfortunate. I'm, uh, honestly, I'm just kind of, I, I chose not to respawn back in the sleeping bag just because I know that we're, we're close to the house off the respawn anyway. Um, what's it called? I didn't want to have to, have to grind out for more hides and stuff, so we might as well just run back. There's no reason to use that sleeping bag as of right now. We need to make a bed is what we need to do, but, uh, I'm just grinding out on some of these dodos here. I'm gonna take out a lot of them, you guys can see. We already have one level up available. I'm just gonna keep it going, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can unlock and, and take on. How is, okay, just magical dodo. I guess I won't kill him. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can unlock and what we should do next. Dude, it just feels so empty up here without that tree. That tree was like my main source of defense. That's what was blocking the view from everybody. I don't, I don't like that it's gone, so uh, we're gonna have to do something about that eventually, I think. But uh, we've got some meat cooking here. You guys can see we actually got a ton of meat off of these dodos, which was kind of nice. Another one there. All right, so let's um, let's see what we should do. We can. Uh, I'm gonna say health. Health is always a good choice, so we're gonna go with that. We've got 14 Ingram points, and uh, oh, we can we we can make a bed right now. Uh-oh. We have somebody in here. Yeah, what's up, man? Awesome! <laughs> How'd you find me? Oh, shoot. I'll have to go back and blur that out or something. Good idea. Thanks, man. I don't know, dude. Do we trust him? Do we accept the invite to the tribe of gods? I'll try it for now. Here we go, boys. He seems cool. I like him. He said he's going to get some arrows and stuff. I gotta figure out, hold on, in options, there should be a way, audio, voice volume. I gotta bring that up a ton. It was really hard to hear him. I'm sure you guys could barely hear him too. All right, so we got that. Uh, let's take a look at our Ingram points. What should we unlock? I think we, we've gotta go for the bow and the stone arrow, right? Boom, there we go. Bows, stone arrows. How do we craft these things is the question. So bow, we're gonna need fiber and wood. Stone arrow, we're gonna be uh, thatch, flint, and fiber. You don't need stones to make a stone arrow, that's weird. So fiber, thatch, wood, and flint. I guess flint is the stone that you're using for the, the arrow. All right, so we're gonna grab some flint here. And then thatch and fiber. So this is... This is interesting. I wasn't expecting this. I can't believe dude came out and just killed everybody this morning that was waiting for me. I feel, I feel kind of bad. How do you 
Can you, when you join a tribe, you can leave a tribe. Okay, so I don't think, we might not stay with them forever. We may leave and just kind of create our own. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll play it by ear. Uh, but this is gonna be interesting. All right, so we're getting a lot of thatch here. And we're gonna get some of our, uh, our fiber and we're gonna make a bow and arrow. So I'm wondering what happened then. He said there were like five people outside of my house. Did somebody bust down the door to see me, not kill me? And then event eventually a, a Dilophosaur was walking by and decided he, he wanted some. I'm honestly kind of guessing that that was the case. Here we go, boys. We've got a bow with 11 arrows. Now, ultimately, I would love to get some Trank arrows. I gotta figure out how to make those, though. Like, yeah, you need Tranquilizer and a Stone Arrow, right? Is that it? Or is there something else? I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look it up. I kind of forget. It's been, been a month and a half since we played, so... Overall, things are looking up. I also have no regard for our, our base anymore, because everybody knows where, where it is. So, we're just gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to move eventually. But that's all right. So for now, I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna stock up on some supplies. We're gonna make a spear and make some more arrows. And then we may, uh, we may go on a little hunt. We'll see what happens. Making some more of these boxes here, boys. Should get a level up with this one. Boom, look at that. Inventory, I'm gonna go to stamina again. I feel like stamina is just really important. Whether we're trying to chase something down or run from it or trying to just collect resources. Stamina is everything. Okay, so now we're up to a level 11. Oh, I, I know what we're gonna have to do to get the Trank Arrows. We're just gonna have to level up to that level. It's up there at 21. That's all we're gonna have to do. And then you just use the Narcotics and the Stone Arrows. That's right. Okay, so we got a Stimulant. We got the start of a wooden base, which is, that's good. Um, foundations and walls, boom, there we go. Honestly, we might. Just go find like a hidden spot in the woods and just build one little foundation with four walls and a roof and then just sit in there and that'll be, that could be our, our stopping point. That could be our, our savior point. I cannot believe I already leaked. <laughs> like, you know what? It's gonna make it fun. Those of you guys out there that play on PC, whether you wanna be friendly or enemies, it's gonna make the series more fun. We're gonna run this server, baby. All right. Cool, that's good stuff. So we have a we have a lot of stuff here. What do we have? We've got a ton of wood, uh, a ton of meats. I guess we can eat a couple of those. What's taking up so much room, though? I'm gonna drop all of that. Drop all the stones. Have a lot of hides. Drop all these berries. We'll keep some narco berries. We could try taming something small. Honestly, can we make a club again? Probably want a slingshot and a club. Where's the club at? There we go. Alright, so we're gonna throw the slingshot on four. I'm gonna throw the club on five. Let's go tame something, just for the heck of it. Here we go, boys. It's gonna be good. What can we tame? We need something small. We need some Trank Arrows to get one of these bad boys. That's what I want. As soon as we get one of those, it's gonna like expedite everything we can do so quickly. That thing's got like human hands. What is this? Iguanodon? Holy cow. That's really, it's like an ape mixed with a dino. It's really weird. I'm not really seeing anything small here. Nice! That's all it takes? What the heck is growling up there, dude? This two arrows is kind of convenient. This is kind of fun. We haven't really used the bow and arrow all that much in this game. Oh, shoot. Do I want to pick a fight with this guy? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! 
I didn't I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I'm so dead, dude. Are you kidding me right now? A true don. Bro, literally we are such a low level that everything is just killing us. Dude, we spawned so far away. I should have used the stupid sleeping bag. I didn't realize the spawn area was that big. But you guys can see, we're gonna have to go around here and, and kind of go across. We're a little tired. It's all right though, it's gonna be worth the trip. Might find some interesting new stuff. There's there's a dead body. Honestly, it's, it's gonna be good for us. After we get through this initial grindy part where we're just kind of grinding up our level and, and slowly learning everything and just kind of getting our experience up, it's gonna be good for us to get away from this main spawn location. I think that's gonna be uh, gonna be helpful. We won't have as many other people around and we can kind of get our our bearings and our, our privacy that we desire, but uh, I hope we're going the right way here. Oh, yep. This is that uh, I'm new, please don't raid. <laughs> so we know we're going in the right direction at least. I'm going back for our body here. Definitely, oh no, they're still there though. Why are they just sitting on our body? Oh, he's here to help me out. Thanks, bud. <laughs> He's here to help me out. Where's... Oh, here we go. So I'm gonna transfer this, 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 this. Bow. Uh, we'll take that. Take those, take that, take that. Okay. Looks good to me. Where do, do we have all of our arrows? Yeah, we have our arrows. Okay. We're back in action. Screw these little guys. You said your brother's at the house? Sweet. You wanna go back there? <laughs> it's still kinda low. Did we not save our settings? Hold on, options, voice volume. Yeah, we applied it. Maybe we... Maybe we take that down a little bit? I don't know, it's weird. You just can't, oh, I just realized that I'm, run <laughs> I'm running around naked. <laughs> oh man, I gotta get some clothes on, dude. I look like a noob. All right. He's already up to level 11, homie's killing it. He's been out there grinding. All right, let's go, let's go meet bro and see what bro's up to. There he is, I see him. Yeah, what's up, man? Hi, right, what's, what's up? Dude, he looks, he's a big mother trucker. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude, he's huge. <laughs> he's so big, what the fuck? I just Homie. put, like, everything onto height. Homie, lay off the roids a little bit, bro. His mic is, like, extra loud. Okay, so maybe... Yeah, I'll also make some... Maybe Dennis is a, uh... Maybe it's just his mic that's a little bit low. Oh, thanks. Thanks, bro. Problem. Homie just gave me a shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. At least now we're not totally naked. So I just saw something about tribe XP down in the bottom left. I need to look how, how being in a tribe. Look, look at this. Earn shared tribe of gods XP, 0 0.055. Okay. So we're all sharing XP when we're, we're doing stuff, which is kind of cool. So that's going to help us rank up faster. I feel like that's going to be pretty important. All right, we have way too much wood right now. Let's go ahead and craft some more arrows. Oh, we need fiber. All right. Let's go run into the forest, get some fiber. It's going to keep grinding, making some stuff. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> he just sucked it up. So awesome, seriously. Thank you, bro, this is cool. All right, so we've we've got the full suit. We've got everything. Woo! I'm nice and styling, baby. Finally, we got some clothes on our back. Here we go. What do you guys think we should level up here? Oxygen, food, water, weight, melee damage, movement speed. Um, part of me wants to do melee damage just because, like, That'll help us out with with taking out other people, but are we are we ever really gonna use a lot of melee weapons? I feel like we're gonna use more bow and arrows and weapons when we get them and stuff like that. Weight's probably pretty good. Eventually we're gonna wanna be able to carry more, so we got that. 
Okay, so standing torches, single panel flags, crop plot, small garden plot with a fence to keep out vermin. That's kind of cool. Uh, we definitely, I mean, we're going to need that wooden ceiling. There's no doubt about that. And then we have six points left after that. Cage, ramp, pillar. I mean, really, there's nothing too crazy except, what is that? Is that like a flare gun? I don't see that there's anything too cr unless we want to build a nice wooden base, which would be kind of fun. Maybe we could do that in the next episode. There's nothing too exciting until we get that trank arrow at level 21. I mean, there's a better hatchet, better pickaxe. Is that a fishing rod, maybe? Some saddles. Obviously, we, we want to think about training some dinos at some point. I say we just keep on grinding. I mean, we met some new friends. We, uh... We're just kind of at that stage where we need to grind and rank up, and I don't want to sit here and run through plants and swing at trees the entire time for you guys. So I think I'm gonna spend a little bit gr Oh, here's a dead body. Oh, he's sleeping. He's sleeping, do we kill him? Do we kill him? I'm not gonna kill him, I'm gonna be nice. He's a level one, there'd be no reason to take him out. So I think what I'm gonna do for now is uh, I'm gonna make that little wooden base. I think that's gonna be really important for us. I don't know if we should really stick it out in the thatch house anymore. I feel like that's probably a bad idea. So I'm going to get a bunch of wood here. Wow, we just took down that entire tree. That's kind of crazy. But I'm going to get a bunch of wood here. We're just going to build a little one by one by one wooden base. I don't even think it's going to have a door. We haven't unlocked the door yet. So we're going to have to pick out a plot of where to put our next little house. And um, I'm, I think I might, I might move it over here. I think I'm just gonna put a little wooden house in between these rocks. You guys down for that? I think this is a good spot. I think we're a little bit hidden. Nobody's really gonna expect that. I just got word that somebody tried attacking the uh, the house up here. They said that somebody came by and, um, and they tried attacking it. So that's, that's a little bit concerning. You guys wanna go after him? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do it. No way, dude, we're freaking hunting somebody down already. Let's go. Here we go. So he's got a little thatch hut. Who knows, he could be friendly, but they, they said he was bad. They said he was bad. Oh, this is the new guy. Oh, do we really want to do it to him? <laughs> Are you sure he was trying to attack you guys? To our house and then he pulled out a spear and then I was like, oh, that's it. Yeah, he's in there right now. Hey, buddy, wanna open up? Why? <laughs> Are you friendly or what? Yeah, you friendly or what? We're kind of new here. Well, I like walked up to your base and I was like, ooh, this is cool, and then I. Got shit on. Well, I almost got shit on by someone with a spear. Is that you? Yeah, I okay. wasn't like gonna do anything. <laughs> All right, you I'm legit just have shit to your stuff. Yeah, so do we. So it's it's all good, man. All right, you guys have a good one then. If you guys want to join the the squad, feel free. <laughs> They're both just hiding out in there. That's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna finish building my little wooden base. Hopefully, we can make it back. Dude, this is so intimidating at night. I just saw a tree and it looked like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I honestly got a little bit nervous there. Here we go. It started raining, so let's go ahead and go into crafting. Um, walls. Well, we have enough for all the walls that we need, thankfully. So I'm going to go to seven here. We're going to throw this like this. We'll throw one here. And honestly, I'm probably just going to lock myself in here. Can we even get in there? Yeah, we can. I'm probably just gonna lock myself in here with no door for now. One last thing I do wanna do is go say farewell to our little humble abode. I'm honestly kinda sad about it. I'm gonna go ahead and demolish this. And um, we're gonna say farewell to our first base for now. It's sad that I can barely see anything right now. But it's sad, man, it's, it's, it's our first base. And we lost it. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I feel like I should, like, leave a note for them or something. To let them know. We're gonna have to find them, because 
I want to let them know that I... I'm That's what I need now. to invest in is a freaking torch, dude. A torch would make this so much better. I completely forgot they even existed. All right, so... I'm, uh... I'm gonna set up a little campfire in here. Let me go ahead and craft. We're gonna make a... Where's it at? There it is. Make a little campfire. Did he just give us a torch? What the heck? Alright, so we got our campfire. I'm gonna set that there. Put it in the corner. Access the inventory. Throw some wood in there. Light it up. And we've also got our sleeping bag that we picked up. Go ahead and throw this there. Ooh, I think it is gonna fit, just barely. I just saw some green. Boom, look at that. We got a campfire, we got a sleeping bag, and we're good to go. Yo guys, I think I'm gonna hop off for now. Uh, I might be on later today, or honestly, probably just tomorrow. I don't even have a, uh, a door frame or a door yet, so I'm just gonna put a fourth wall in and lock myself in there. <laughs> all right, I'll catch you guys later today or tomorrow though, all right? <laughs> this is gonna be so ridiculous. Goodbye, cruel worlds. I'm locking myself away. All right, well, there you guys have it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, exit to the main menu. That's right there. That's where it shows what your server number is. That's so funny, dude. All right, good stuff. So we've got a new base. We've got some new friends. We're part of a tribe. Things are going along very, very well, I would say. And uh, man, honestly, this is a lot more fun than single player. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.